We're going to talk about absolute values and distances between numbers on number lines. And before we do the major work here, I want to state that distances are always positive or zero. So how far I am away from something will never be a negative number. Okay. Um, so let's talk about absolute value. The absolute value of a number A is equal to two different cases. It's equal to itself if a is greater than or equal to 0, and it is its opposite if a is less than 0. Okay? So if it's a positive number or 0, I can just get rid of the absolute value symbol. And if it is a negative number, I give its opposite, which turns it into a positive number. Properties of absolute value The absolute value of A has to be greater than or equal to 0 which states it is always positive or 0 Next one The absolute value of a negative number is equal to the absolute value of the original number. Third property, the absolute value of a product is equal to the product of the absolute values. And the last property is that the absolute value of a quotient is equal to the quotient of the absolute values as long as the denominator is not equal to zero. So you can use these properties to help you simplify things. Our actual definition of distance between A and B on a real number line I'm going to put D A comma B it's equal to the absolute value of the difference of the numbers on the two endpoints And if you've already taken geometry class, this is our ruler postulate in the geometry class. It comes directly from the, the properties of absolute value and distance. The distance between two numbers on a number line is the absolute value of the difference of the coordinates of the two endpoints on that number line. So that Basically, what distance is doing is it's telling us how far away something is. Same thing with absolute value. The absolute value, if I know that the absolute value of x is equal to 3, that means I am 3 units away from zero on the number line. A number whose absolute value is three is three units away on a number line from zero. So if I have my number line, one, two, three, 
one, two, three. I'm either that number or that number. Okay? Where this comes into play is when I do absolute values with inequalities. Absolute value of x is less than or equal to 3. That means x is every number within 3 of 0 on the number line. So that would be every number within 3 from 0 on the number line. So that would be all of those numbers. Okay, you will learn, okay, or you may have already learned, so if you're in Algebra 2 or above, um, you already need to know this, that if I do the absolute value of x minus a is less than or equal to b, that means that x is within b units of a, okay? So this is going to be used a lot. Um, one thing that I want to point out is if you're solving an absolute value problem, you need to have two solutions unless your value is zero. If you ever end up with anything that looks like this, the absolute value of anything within absolute value bars is equal to some negative anything, it's impossible. It's impossible for an absolute value to equal a negative number, so you would write down no solution in this case. Okay. Here, using this kind of thing, x is going to be within three units of negative five. And let's see if my words work out right. I get two solutions. When you're doing absolute values, you write down the equation or inequality exactly the way it was written, and you write it down a second time with a negative on the right-hand side. And that comes directly from our definition of absolute value. You solve both of these. I'm going to subtract 5 from this one, and I get x equals negative 2. I'm going to subtract 5 from this one, and I get x equals negative 8. And I said in words, x is within 3 units of the opposite of this number, which is 5, the opposite would be negative 5, and both of these numbers are within 3 units of negative 5. So I want you to be able to not only be able to do the arithmetic to solve these types of things, but I want you to be able to visualize what they physically mean. Okay? The more you can understand what this means in a context, for example, anytime you see a subtraction within absolute values, you know that it's a distance between two points. Anytime you see um, a subtraction equal or less than or equal to or greater than or equal to or less than or greater than a number, you know it's the x is that many units away from the opposite of whatever number that is on a number line. That will, If you understand that and you internalize that, it will help you out um, immensely in math. So that's it for absolute values and distances. Um, if you have any questions, make sure that you bring them up in class.